This is a Pilates for Posture video. Something that you can jump down from your desk and do throughout your day or add to another workout. So we're going to start in kneeling and we're going to focus today on strength through the back line. So in high kneeling, it's the best posture to counter effects of sitting at a desk. So it gets you more upright. Brings on the extensors through your back, through your neck, through your hips. So you're going to push your heels together and we're going to start with some mobility. Big shrug on the right hand side, drop down to the right, into the middle, and curl back up. And then the opposite side, big left shoulder shrug, drop down into the centre, and work back up. Keep your heels squeezed and exaggerate this as much as you can. I can definitely hear and feel some clunking going on in my shoulders as I work out that stiffness. Around my shoulder blade and my neck. And we're going to use this mobility exercise to work out where we naturally hold ourselves and where any tightness is, as well as waking up the muscles we're going to use throughout this sequence. Holding it here at the top, we're now going to turn our palms to face the front. We do imagine you've got on your favourite necklace and you're just going to show that off to the room. Grow tall through the crown of your head like I'm pulling you up from your centre party. Keep that length through here and squeeze your heels together. It's almost like I'm trying to pull the mat closer with my inside thigh. So the core muscle naturally comes on by finding that best posture position. And then we're going to beat our arms. We're going to pulse at our sides, breathing in two, three, four, five, out two, three. These small little hundreds movements with our arms is a challenge to hold our postural balance. Try not to bounce or sway, grow taller, keep the chest open, and we're working on endurance here, holding those shoulders back, holding the breastbone lifted, growing tall through the crown of the head, and keeping your heels squeezed. A lot to remember, keep it going as you breathe in, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, Four, five, in, two, three, four, five. Breath is really important. Take your fullest breaths. Allowing your ribcage to expand east and west. And our last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and release. We're now going to set our bottoms down onto our heels, bring our knees closer into parallel. We're going to reach forwards as though we're trying to reach for something off the front of our mats. As we rise up, we're going to work our bottoms, our backs, and row an elbow to open the chest up further. Blow with your out breath as you pull and look over that right shoulder, bending your elbow. Breathe in, sit back, look down. Breathe out, pull, open your chest, squeeze your heels together here at the top. Breathe in, sit down. Breathe out, pull back. Breathe in, sit down. So whilst one hand pulls back, the other arm is reaching forwards. You want to try and keep the neck long, like your head is full of helium, and the whole while it's trying to float up towards the sky. And notice here our shoulders are shrugged, and when we pull back, we're fighting against that. Four more, alternating those sides, really working through the back. You can add a resistance band to this whenever you feel ready as well, so you work more on strength. Two more. And one more. And release. Okay, so now we're going to come and sit on our mat. We're going to work on reverse planks. And I often find that strength in the back line here is lacking a little bit compared to front planks. Quite often we all know we can do a front plank, but we've never thought about trying a back plank. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. So I'm going to start with your legs straight. You can turn your palms any which way you like. So I don't mind which way your fingers are pointing. Depending on how tight for your shoulders will probably dictate that. And then the first thing I want you to do is just work on lifting your chest, squeezing your shoulder blades back behind you and opening through your throat. And then release, let it sink back down. Work those muscles between your shoulder blades, lift your breastbone, look up towards the sky and release. So already I can feel those little muscles between my arms and my body working. Those little back wings, <laughs> it's hard to get to far up, those ones which pull our shoulders back. 
fighting against tight chest and muscle switch pullers forwards. Three more preps, looking up towards the sky, releasing down. Two more preps. One more, and this time we're going to hold it. So we're going to hold it here with our chest lift, looking up towards the sky. On our next out breath, we're going to drive down through our heels and lift our hips up towards the ceiling. And then we're going to fold, come back down. Hold that chest lift, the upper back position, and you're going to go again for a set of six for me. Lifting your hips, lowering your hips. Lift, lower. So you're hinging at your hips, pressing through your back line. Let's do one more. And release it down, hold it here. Cross your knees and you're just going to take your right hand to the outside of your left knee and your left hand behind you, you're reaching for your right hip. Reach and look over that shoulder so you're wringing out your spine, taking the weight out of your wrists and giving your back a really nice juicy twist. Hands to the sky, we're going to take it around the other way. Left hand drops to your right thigh, right hand is going to reach around towards my left hip. Just as far as you can, you might need to hold your t-shirt or hold onto the back of your trousers. Just something to try and wrap over. Look over your right shoulder. Growing tall. And back to centre. Okay, so now we're going to come back into those back planks. We're going to try some holds. I want to fire up into the back of the legs a little bit more here. So we're going to have just a soft bend in the knees. Find the position that your hands work well. And come back to just those little chest lifts. Looking up towards the sky and then slumping back in. Lifting breastbone, long neck, slump back down. Two more. One more, all the way up to the top. And then from here, we're gonna press and lift our hips. So we're in this like little coffee table position. Squeezing the chest open, pressing the arms straight, looking up towards the sky, digging the heels in. Just five more seconds now. And release, coming all the way back down. We're going to take one little step in towards you, six inches. We're going to go again from here. Lift your chest, drop your chest. Open your shoulders, close your shoulders. One more time. And then we're going to open our shoulders again and stay there. As we dig through our heels, press through our triceps, and drop the toes to the mat as you lift up into your little coffee table back. Try and have a long neck, squeezing your shoulder blades down your back. Push your hips high. So not only are you strengthening your back line, but you're opening up any tightness through the front. Hip flexors, the front of your hips are going to get short and tight when we sit a lot. When we're leaning over a desk or a computer or driving a lot, the front of our chest gets tight. And so we are opening that all up. Three, two, one, come back down. Now one more six inch step, you're going to rest your feet flat down on the mat and we're going to go from here next time. Reposition your hands if you need to, pop and lift your chest, find that long neck position. One more, keep the chest open looking up towards the sky, press through your hands and your feet, lift your hips high, hold it here. In this little coffee table position, long spine, try not to let the hips drop, any tightness in the hips are going to mean that you're going to buckle and bend. Don't let that happen. Lift all the way up. Lift, 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 lift. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. From here, I want you to cross your right foot in towards your left thigh. And you're gonna hinge forwards, reaching down your left leg, stretching out your hamstring. If you can, look up for me. So as you look up, up, you're trying to stretch that hamstring with a straight spine instead of giving in to it and allowing your back to buckle. So lift up and see if you can just lean into that stretch. Imagine I'm going to come and put a broom handle along your back and you don't want the neck to be lifted. You want that broom handle to rest on the back of your head, between your shoulder blades and on your bottom. So you're trying to create as straight a line as possible from the crown of your head to your tail. And change. Right leg forwards, left foot is going to fold in towards the right thigh. And again, see so if you can hinge forwards, just find where you naturally want to go. And then let's straighten it out, long neck, 
flat back if we can. I really have to kind of always stick my tail out so I don't slump too much in my lower back. And then we're just going to try and hinge from the hips. Okay, so now the very last exercise we're going to do is work on the side body. So I want you to see if you can straighten yourself up. So again, if you get your elbow, your hip and your knee in one straight line, then you can be sure you are opening up your hip flexors. Don't let them be a little bit bent in, forward, bent in front of you because then you're still keeping them short. Open up through your hip, really push your hips forwards. And then from here, I want you just to kind of sink into it. Notice how a relaxed, non-working posture might be. And then you're going to do the complete opposite. You lift out of your bottom waist, you're going to turn and face the bottom hand, and then you're going to follow that whole lift with your waist. The top arm's going to come up and over your head, so you stretch through that top side, lift it through the bottom side, and you're going to hold it here. So you're working on getting your shoulders back, your waist up, and your bottom on, as well as length through your frame. Release, come down, I want you to counter stretch that for me. Bring the right hand down, left hand up. And one more time, onto your left elbow, pressing those hips high, we're going to hold it here. If you can, now straighten that top leg, remember to keep pushing your hips forwards, reach the fingertips, reach the toe, and the most important thing is staying up on that waist. Hold it here and breathe, and 10 more seconds, looking down to take it out of your neck. Two, one, release, and we're going to counter stretch again. Open up through that side, side bend, drop the head, shake the neck. Opposite side. So that line up is the most important part. Getting your elbow, your hip and your knee in one straight line. I really have to kind of push my hips forwards to open that up. Okay, sink into your shoulder and then grow long out of your waist. Float yourself up and we're going to hold that top line. Imagine I'm going to come around the room and I'm going to roll your shoulders back. I'm going to lengthen your neck. You're going to tuck your chin slightly and lift down. Hold and breathe. And release. Come down. Counter stretch. Open up the right waist. Stretch and reach for the right arm. And we're going to come back down. Okay, so find that same shape. Knee hip and elbow all in one straight line, you're going to float up and reach that top hand. Still keeping space between your ears and your shoulders, maybe adding in a top leg float as well. And you're going to stretch and lengthen through your fingertips to your toe. You're going to hold and breathe. Long neck, roll the shoulders down, turn and look down. Push your hips forwards, try not to fold at the hips. Give me 10 more seconds. Two, one, and release, counter stretch. And then give me one last exercise. I want you to come into four point kneeling. Take any load out of your back, forehead down onto the mat, bottom onto your heels. And then as you roll up and out of this position, I want you to pull your belly button to your spine first. Arm curl like a flower opening up. Restacking your lower back first, your mid back, roll your shoulders back and lengthen through the crown of your head. Good work, guys. 